Hey guys, the Epic Gamer here, and today I'm bringing you guys a domination gameplay on the map Hard Hat. And uh, starting the game, as you can see here, with the UMP45, but I later on switched to the MK14. I go 51 and 5 in this game with an assault Moab, and um, my class setup for when I do switch to the MK14 is I use the Red Dot and Silencer with the attachments for efficiency, as you can tell, or as you can probably get. And then, perks I was running, Scavenger Pro, Quick Draw Pro, Marksman, and Marksman really does come in handy later in the video. Well, it doesn't really come in handy, like I don't need it in this point, at that point in time I'm saying it's coming in handy, but it really works well. And, so, yeah, 5105 Assault Moab, running with Predator Missile, Overwatch, Payblow, and that's just pretty much an overview of the game. I do well, and I want to give a shout out, just, well, I'm not going to, just give a shout out to 21 John Tay and T-Rock1413. Um, that's not their game attack, but that's their channel. They helped me out get this Moab, but the main guy, I do camp, by the way, but the main guy who really helped me is not some guy, I'm not sure who, but he kept UAVs in the air when I needed them. He wasn't in a party with me, but whoever it was helped me the most. And, yeah, I do camp a lot. I speed up and slow down. I, I speed up the game at certain points in time just because I'm camping, and I, it's, I don't think it's a boring gameplay, but I do camp, like I said, a lot. But that's not really the main point of the video. The topic of this video is gameplay versus commentary. And I'm not, it's not a huge topic passed around in the YouTube community, but I think it's a fairly important one. And it's a, it's a pretty, it's probably one of those medium level topics passed around. And it's kind of like, what's more important? What do you want to see? What do you like better? Commentaries or gameplays? Now, I'm pretty sure most people probably like gameplays better. And the main reason for that probably is because they like seeing those high scoring gameplays where you're rushing around and it keeps popping up, triple kill, double kill, XP keeps popping up in the middle of your screen because your air support's beasted and stuff like that, you know, Moab. People like seeing that stuff, I think. But uh, the commentary is just as important as the gameplay, in my opinion. Now, there's some people who can make it out there, as in maybe Sandy Ravage, who can put the music on and show them just demolishing, and that's what people like is watching. But I think if you're like a camper, then you're going to have to be a pretty good commentator because if you're rushing around, you know, you don't have to commentate because people are enjoying your gameplay. And I think people can enjoy the gameplay and commentaries at the same time. The better commentator you are, I believe, the better, more successful you're going to be. Um, one of my personal favorite commentators is Serious Drama. He's just an amazing commentator. Uh, every video started out different. He doesn't have like an intro necessarily. He uh, never asks for rates, like, like, comment, subscribe. He just says, um, you know, like, stay safe, be good, be kind, whatever, like that. I can't remember, exactly remember what he says, but he's an extremely good commentator. He doesn't put the gameplay, he doesn't put the um, game score in the title of his video or anything like that. Now, I do, but a lot of people do, actually, and it does help bring views. That's the thing. If you put a topic, in my opinion, you're going to get more views if you put you know, like, 106 and 10 in the title, and then maybe later you, like, in the title also you put what the topic's about. I think that is going to bring you a lot more views if people see, like, you know, this guy or maybe Double Moab or My Fastest Moab or something. They're going to be like, man, this guy's good. I'm going to check this video out, and then they'll maybe check the rest of your channel out and sub. But, you know, if you just put the commentary what it's about, like, if I, in this video, if I just put... MW3 gameplay commentary, and then I put in the title, I put that, and then I put gameplay versus commentary. I think more people would view it if I put 51 and 5 with Assault Moab, and then, you know, I put a little slash or something, then put gameplay versus commentary, which is what I do for most of my videos. And I think that that would help you get more views, but honestly, um, the commentary and gameplay are both very important parts of your channel. And I think that's where you can kind of separate a good channel from a bad, a good channel from a great channel. If somebody is sitting there bringing out great gameplays and great commentaries, they're a very successful channel. But if somebody is putting out great gameplays that are better, they're putting out, you know, maybe like the guy puts out a 40 and 5, the next guy puts out a 60 and 5 game. And, but the guy who put the 40 and 5 game has a great commentary with it. And the guy with the 60 and 5 is sitting there going, um, and yeah, and uh, but uh, like that, you know, I would probably say the 40 and 5 guy is probably a better overall channel because he's commentating and that's actually a pretty huge part of, you know, that successful channel. Um, you know, like that. 
I'm not the best commentator. I had a series going on my old channel where I talked about, like, you know, Broda to being a better commentator, and it was five episodes. I tried to become better, not say um and all that stuff, and actually have a topic to talk about. Now, this one, you're probably going to see me stutter and struggle with a tiny bit because it's a ten and a half minute video. I'm only five minutes in right now. And, you know, this topic isn't one that takes a year or so. Well, not a year, but takes a while to talk about. And I'm actually hoping to get this on a few channels besides my own. Hopefully it does become successful. But back to the main topic, gameplay versus commentary. I put out pretty good gameplays, in my opinion. Really well, not the best on YouTube, but de decent gameplays. And also, pretty good commentaries, I would say. Um... I would rather go to a channel and see some good commentaries because, you know, what I learned from my channel and things is I don't really like hearing and listening and watching my own commentaries, but I like watching my own gameplays. That's something I used to do. Because I would go into, like, a game and just, like, put it on 720p HD and then just watch it and either mute the sound or some games I would just have no commentaries at all. But then I realized, you know, it's boring to do that when you're watching somebody else's video. I didn't like going to, like, my friend's videos where there's no commentary at all and watching it. Because I find it more boring just to watch the gameplay. So I learned that, you know, I do actually enjoy watch or listening to commentaries a lot. And But the gameplay in the background is just also a great thing to add on to it. So, I think if you can bring fairly well commentaries and amazing gameplays, I think you're going to have a successful channel. Um, if you bring great com commentaries in, you know, kind of well gameplays, you know, not the best gameplays in the world, but okay gameplays, I think you're going to do good now. that's But, you know, it's kind of the people who watch your video, what do the community want? Uh, put your comments below on, you know, are you a guy who would rather see a great commentary or a guy who'd rather see an amazing gameplay? Um, it's kind of just the people who watch you, there's people who like different things. People who just want to see that high scoring game. There's some people who want to listen to you talk about a topic. You know, Woody's Gamer Tag. Um, does that Mail Monday. People who just want to see you give advice to people and things like that. And give tips like T. Martin. And, you know, just kind of help them out through commentaries and not really based on the gameplay. And there's other people who like Jay Nasty, Nonstop 77. They're just the quickest two that popped out of my head. Fear Crads. Um... Who just bring awesome gameplays, and that's what people want to see. Now, they might not be the best commentators in the world, but they are some of the best players in the world. And that's what people want to see. And then there's also, you know, they might be the best, they might not be the best game player, no, they might not, might not be the best COD player in the world, I should say. But they bring out awesome commentaries, and you see people who will do, like, things where they don't put the title, and the, uh, the score in the title. But they do mainly just a topic, but they still get a Moab in the gameplay or something like that. So there are chances for people to be successful both ways. I think either way, um, you need both to become successful. But if you have one quality of those two that are great, I think the other one doesn't have to be as great. But in order to have a really, really good channel, I feel that you need to have really good commentaries and gameplays. And in order to have... Um, a successful one, though, I think you can make it by with just a great commentary and okay gameplays, or great gameplays and okay commentaries. Like I said, comment below on, you know, what do you think is more important, how do you think you're going to be more successful having which one, and actually reading the comments, I might be able to get some tips from you guys. You guys might say, I like commentary better, I like gameplay better, and that could help me improve my own channel, so... Yes, I do get three payloads this game, and as you can see here, Marksman, I'm sitting here, like, wall hacking these guys, um, shooting them through this wall... There's about a minute and a half left of the video. I pretty much discussed the main topic that I wanted to. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe to me if you haven't already. Uh, leave a like and comment. And I'll see you guys later.